Okay. So um, this has been an ancient, ancient case against me, <laughs> which uh, basically in 1982, I wrote a book proving that synthetic drugs were somewhat incompatible with the human body. My son, uh, Daniel, my oldest son, Daniel, was born uh, autistic because of a drug, Bendictine. When I studied the drugs, I asked the question, how could, how could a drug be credentialed by the FDA that was having such horrendous side effects? The case of DES, diethylstilbestrol, was a, a synthetic drug approved in the 50s. And then they found out later that every woman who took this drug, their female child was born with a neoplastic cancer type growth on the cervix. Every child, every female child born of a woman who took this drug, diethylstilbestrol, DES, the side effect appeared in the second generation, not in the first generation. Think about that when you get a vaccine. So at any rate, with this in mind, I started to look at what was the details of the synthetic drugs? What was this, this process? And lo and behold, I was able to discover scientific proof that the synthetic pr process, not the natural process, the SIN, the laboratory synthetic process, they just don't know enough and that all their synthetic drugs that have those synthetic patents were all creating side effects, not just side effects, they were incompatible. I, all of them, all of them. Some, some worse than others. So basically then I wrote this, published it in 1982, 85, it got more attention the, into the Library of Congress. The FDA started to hate me because the FDA is really the junkyard dog of the, of the drug companies. So with this in mind, um, I registered my device, 1989, the device you all know of. Okay. And uh, the acupuncture needle people came to me and asked me to register acupuncture needles. I said, fine. According to the 1976 Act, a uh, which made devices underneath medical devices became underneath the FDA. Prior to that, the FDA controlled food, drugs, and cosmetics. The devices were added in 1976, and it said that anything in, in the marketplace before 1976 would be grandfathered in, but they did not grandfather in the acupuncture needles. They kept the acupuncture needles labeled as experimental. I wrote a treatise 1993 to get the acupuncture needles credentialed and registered and in my treatise i found that the fda was violating five of their own laws that by classifying it as experimental it should have a study informed consent and all the study of the of things about it and they weren't doing that at all acupuncture needles I then found a, a receipt that Thomas Jefferson bought acupuncture needles in 1776. So we beat the deadline by a smidge, 200 years. <laughs> so I published all of this. And then the FDA, five days later, launched a investigation of me. As long as there was an investigation, or if, if they got a felony, then my, my treatise on the acupuncture needles to get them registered would be frozen. They came in to my office. They investigated every piece of paper for six months. They looked at everything, everything. Nobody would work for the company, so I had to close the company down. I went to Europe. I went to Budapest. And here I found a really nice place to make the machine. So I started making the machines in Budapest. 1995, I came back to visit my children for Christmas and I was arrested. Long story short, I went to Denver and Judge Mache came out and said, I don't see any crime. He sensed that this was all trumped up by the FDA. He said this wasn't the seal, this whole, this whole charge against me. So he released me in 1996. 
On leap day, February 29th, this is February now. On leap day, 1996, he released me. He dismissed the case. The FDA nudged me, said they would get a new judge. And now two weeks after this, after my uh, investigation and case was dismissed, two weeks later, my 510K, my FDA application on the needles, came to the front of the line. And two weeks later in March, acupuncture needles became medical equipment. So I beat the FDA the second time. They got a judge, June 1956, 1996, excuse me. So they got another judge. This judge made an indictment against me, basically for the same charges, for the exact same charges. Reed is going to get them in. You can mute, mute for a minute, Reed. I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Yes, I am here. I just okay. could not get into the room. Hello, everybody. But you have to mute for a little bit. Let me finish, please. I'll turn it over to you. Okay. So, at any rate, I... Uh, uh, where was I? <laughs> so, uh, in uh, 1996, they registered... Okay, they registered the needles. Okay, June, they got a second indictment against me, basically for the same crime. I should not face double jeopardy. However, I'm told I could not I could not petition the judge to dismiss the case until I was here in America. I'm here in America now. So I, I played around and I found that there was threats against me. My lawyer, who used to be a federal prosecutor, he discovered uh, in in a uh, 2003, 2003, I wanted to come back to America and face this. Edgar Mitchell, uh, who had the Noetic Society, he called me up and he asked me to come and give a keynote address in San Diego to his Noetic Society, which had 5,000 people coming to see me. He asked me to be the lecturer. And he didn't really know me too well. I worked on the Apollo, so we, we knew of each other, etc. And he said, I don't care if you wear a dress when you come. I said, ooh, I know just the, what I want to wear, just the right heels. <laughs> so I said, okay. I wanted to come. He advertised me. The FDA called and said that they were going to not do the bail arrangement with me. My lawyer said, that's strange. So he investigated. My lawyer investigated. He said there was a plan to have me arrested in San Diego. Then I was going to be moved to El Paso, Texas for two weeks. Then moved for two weeks to Okefenokee sw uh, Swamps in a facility there for two weeks. Then to a facility in Tennessee for two weeks. Then to a facility in New Hampshire for two weeks. They could keep me away from a judge. It takes a, two weeks to get the writ of habeas corpus, produce the body. And they were going to actually... Keep me away from a judge. There was a plan for this. I didn't know. Was this real? So then a friend of mine inside the FDA, she checked into it, independent of my lawyer, independent. And what did she find? She said, oh, there's a plan. El Paso, Texas, Florida, Tennessee. She verified there was a conspiracy against me. I said, I can't go back to America. People retired in the FDA. I made another appeal. Always, everybody would say there's something suspicious in this case. Something very suspicious. I talked, I could not come back and visit my mother and father when they died. I couldn't visit them when they were sick. They said, don't, don't come. They said, Billy, don't come, don't come. The only people call me Billy. <laughs> My mom and dad. I couldn't take part. I was. I, people called me a criminal. I'm not a criminal. So, the time came by, and then it was. Uh, then I, my current um, prosecutor, Megan Engelhart, she said she wanted to deny bail. I said on a mail fraud charge that I've already faced. It's already been dismissed. You deny bail. Well, I checked into it and they wanted to deny bail. They had me intimidated in the system. 
they were going to hold me and have me moved into general population and shivved with the shank or shanked with the shiv or whatever. So I said, I can't come back. So I applied for asylum. First judge in, in uh, uh, Hungary said yes to asylum. Should be over. I should get my world refugee passport and go on. But no, Hungary was a police state. A police state. A European illegal police state. The judges no longer make decisions except to the police. I went back in line, got a second judge. Second judge said the same thing. But the judges were dominating things. I came back a third time. Now they brought in this hornhead guy who hates transsexuals, etc. And he denied me asylum again. So now I didn't have the judge's help. I've been making appeals, making appeals, making appeals. But because I'm transsexual, all of the laws I'm told over and over again, over and over again, Rita will tell you, over and over again, no such thing as law in Hungary. The laws don't matter. They do what they want. What? Law? No law? Anyway, so finally Hungary deported me. The people who were pushing against me in the FDA have been gone. It was the right time, the right place. God's providence. God's providence. On Valentine's Day, just on here, my new lawyer has a uh, an old boyfriend <laughs> who was on the prosecution team. And he was there on Monday when they reviewed my case. And he said, the boss looked at the case and went, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? How do we have this case? This case has already been dropped. How does this case appear on our docket? What's going on here? She, he said to Megan. And she said, oh, 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 oh. he said, we don't take cases like this. We don't take cases like this. We don't take ven FDA vendettas. We don't. So they dropped the case on Valentine's Day. And here I am. I beat the FDA three times. Now I'm a free person. Desiree Dubonnet, female in America. We'll see how this story develops because I have to make an application for a passport. I have the pretrial services ID with me. We're going to see how, how things develop. So anyway, but it looks very good because right now everybody has treated me with respect and kindness. So my case is over. I just wanted you to know there is forces and God is helping. And there are people like me who are heroes. I, I stand up and I stand up for you. I stand up for everybody. And there's people who don't like heroes. People, oh, no, you should shut up and freeze. Oh, don't do, don't, don't, don't talk bad about people. Don't do that. You know, and I said, no, there's certain people, certain of us. We are heroes. We are warriors. And we will fight. We will fight for you. We will fight for everybody. We will fight for justice. We will fight for what's right. Don't hate me because I'm a warrior. Don't hate me because of that. Support me. You don't have to step forward and do this. I'll do it for you. I'll take the shots. You don't have to do this. You have a, the device is legal. Everything is fine. Listen, I make sure that everything we do is legal. And if they ever have problems, they come after me. And believe me, you don't have to take the shots. I'll do that. So here I am. Congratulations to me. Congratulations to all of us. We have all beat the FDA three times. Four, if you include the registration of our device. Because <laughs> our device is fully FDA registered. So I'm going to let Rita tell you a little bit more about some things. Rita, are you ready? Yes, I'm um, here. Okay. And I also would like you to... Oh. I'm going to turn it over to you, Rita, because I'm a little tired. Okay. I also would like you to announce our wedding. Oh yes, yeah, Rita and I. Uh, we're going to we're going to be doing. Uh, Rita and I will be in Baltimore for the next couple of weeks. Then we're planning on going to Mexico and take a little holiday, a little pre honeymoon, and then we're going to be married in Las Vegas because we're going to be doing a seminar in. Uh, uh, we're going to be scheduling a seminar. We haven't scheduled it fully yet, but we're going to, in the next five or six weeks, we're going to schedule a seminar in Los Angeles. 
you're all invited to come. We're going to do a seminar in, in uh, Los Angeles. I don't know exactly when. We're just discussing. And then uh, Rita and I, from there, are going to drive to Las Vegas. You're welcome to come and join us. And we're going to have an open wedding in uh, one of the Las Vegas uh, wedding cha chapels. We're, we're actually looking forward to it. We haven't decided on. I'm voting for Star Wars. Rita wants to do Elvis Presley. I don't know. No, I want to do Egyptian style. Oh, Egyptian. Okay. Well, I'm not sure that's still around. Anyway, we'll find out. Uh, but uh, we're going to be married. And uh, right now we have a life partnership in Hungary, which uh, isn't quite completely. Uh, uh, Hungary does not consider uh, same sex marriages as legal. So they made a life partnership, which we have. And uh, that's going to be, uh, that's fine. We'll leave that. But we are now going to do a legal marriage in Las Vegas. We just thought that would be so much fun. So that's our plan. Yeah. And we also would like uh, to announce that Gage Tarrant has been also very, very uh, heavily on our side with legal work, with email support, also Jane McKenzie and everybody. So this moment and this period of Desiree's uh, uh, process of uh, justifying the truth and her name has been a big, uh, like a big challenge and a big proof that we are all one and we really have a biofeedback family. I am receiving constant phone calls and emails. How many people have put us in their prayer wheels, prayers, devices, uh, and I feel that we are and we were all connected during this whole period. And we are the, we are about to take this technology to the world and really to a higher it. level. Yes, much it's just higher. amazing. And it's yeah. been a long road, Daisy, but you've oh, yeah. come through triumphantly. And it's the courage and everything that you tell us about and speak to us about what you've coached us in. And um, you know what? All credit to you. And well, if there's anyone with patience, it's you. <laughs> really? Well, uh, basically, uh, thank you. Uh, everything is going to be going through the International Medical University, the education, etc. We need to all get together and center mm -hmm. on a really strong future uh, based with evidence and based with what the work that we're doing and the inspiration and getting it together and doing it all right. So I'm looking forward to working with everybody. I invite you to the gauge is doing the seminar in Las Vegas. You'll find out more because we haven't put it all together yet. But you'll and find out more. for the next week, my plan is to show uh, more manual things because many people have a difficulty how to activate. I mean, update their own Omni software manually. But uh, I've been also showing to many people the last days. So Jane and I are happy to show you that. And also more new new features of the software. We are going to do more practical work, so you don't just see the videos and uh, listen to educational material. We want you to also understand but, but how see, to find these in the in the program itself. Turn on your camera. Oh no, my face is you know deeply no, injured. Turn on right? your camera, it's fine. You got the you got the mask off. Let them see you. You've been busy again, Rita. Take the mask off. Here we see I'm you. here. Take your take the mask I'm off. You must be here. I don't know what... Just show but us. I, you don't see me. It's completely blank. No, we see. My we camera do. doesn't work right we now. Just pull the mask off your mouth. You so can, can see me. Pull the mask off your mouth. So okay. We can hear you. Okay, I'm right here. Well, well, Hi. There you go. I... <laughs> Hi, I uh, had had to be, do a, uh, somebody messed up her nose and they had to do a constructive reconstructive uh, surgery on her nose. So yeah, she's or be or besides this. So Rita, you, better, you just get yourself into shape for the wedding. So that's good news. Rita, teach yes. them well now. I'm gonna go lay down. I'm tired. Okay, but you can see me because I don't see the camera. Yeah, we we see you. But we only see your eyes. We, we pull it back a bit. Eyes. We don't see your pull mouth. Pull back a bit. We don't see your mouth. Okay, right, like this. Hey. Take take the mask hey, off. Yes, take the mask off. So uh, not, nobody's going to catch anything through the through the with Zoom. Desiree, Gage, and I also would like to announce that we uh, are doing certification. So besides the oh, diploma, we do course, license, and, license, license. Yes, but uh, certification, certification is a bad word. License. We do. 
we do licensing, but uh, people can also uh, choose specific areas where they would like to become licensed. We have sport and nutrition. Yes. We have the quantum subspace prayer and fine man. We'll be covering and all that in the future. We have business course. We have counseling. We have uh, spiritual coaching and uh, or it's all, nutrition. It's all available in your software now on the front page. Yes. So I'm going for to further information and mentoring, you can contact me anytime. I'm going to sign off. Disney, Rita. go and have a nice rest. And uh, it's just a, a, just a pleasure. It's beautiful. And let the gates open for you. Yes, all right. Thank Thanks you. for everything that you've done for all of us. Okay. See you later. Bye, people. Disney. Bye. Bingo. Bye. So, Rita, we also need to focus on the immune diploma course, the 100 hour diploma yes. course. People, yeah. that is the full course. That is the course that will lead towards the license. Yeah, and the, yes, and the doctorate. So that's what I wanted to explain. But Desiree was not letting me finish. So we have <laughs> certification. A certification is only a one or maximum two weekend course. But this is only a certificate. That means that you have a basic knowledge and you fulfilled two weekend course that means you have basic understanding and we give you a certification we have that from five or eight uh, types of uh, topics we can share with you that and the diploma course requires minimum 100 hours and every course mm -hmm. has a true and false question to be answered plus uh, essays and then we have the quantum biofeedback doctorate and that has 100 courses so that we take uh, sometimes a year, sometimes eight months. It depends on the speed, how you can move forward, because that has 105 courses, the doctorate. Hmm. So the one leads to the next one and leads to the next exactly. kind of one. Exactly. So you, you, you know, you're accumulating your courses. And then what's really beautiful is, is that you can start right now. Yes. And, and then if you already in, have the diploma. Just a second. All the information is there. While you're building, building up your funds, if you want to uh, sort of start saving your funds and everything, you can start right now. It's it's an entry into the um, um, I'm Flix, the Immune University. All the courses are there, right up to the doctorate course. So yes, there's no no real excuse. You can go in and you can start studying now. Start upgrading yourself to the next level, so that you are in the stream with all of us as we upgrade the whole quantum medicine. Um, you know, we've got De Desi now um, completely free, able to do whatever she needs to do to manifest in this way. It's been about 17 years of lockdown, you know. So um, let's work with the, with, the, with the energy right now and let's, let's enroll. If you're battling to enroll, you can enroll on the 365 Healthy by Choice website. You can uh, pay for mentorship. You can choose your mentor and, um, you know, get going on this. So yeah, what, and what the other thing is that if, uh, if, need, if people need access to the I am Flix page to uh, access the courses, then uh, you can uh, write me and I can help you to create a login because I'm not so sure that the paper for it is currently working. So, and if you get the login for the I am Flix page, then you get the whole full-time access to the educational materials, to all our videos, movies, TV films, and all the uh, information. Santiago had a question. The diploma is uh, accepted and even the degrees are accepted internationally everywhere, but uh, yeah. certain states or certain countries might have uh, asked you to notarize it or translate it, or but we never had any issues or complaints with it. And I'm just going to post um, the, the if people want to join the course now, I'm going to post it onto, onto the chat. And then if you want to join straight away, Rita, and then we'll coordinate, um, we'll coordinate all the joining. In yeah, and we say that uh, mm -hmm. now, the, now the diploma course is now on a reduced price of 500 euros. And the doctorate course, uh, the quantum biofeedback doctorate is 5,000 euros for the moment instead of what, what was it before uh it was the doctorate was i think seven or or eight and uh, the diploma was six something 650 yeah. but now desiree said we are doing a valentine's day special and also a special for desiree to 
to to restart life and uh, bringing this okay. up to a higher level so just give me um you know half an hour at the end of the, the this webinar because i will go and update the pricing on the 365 link which i've just posted so if you go there right now it's not going to be on on the 500 uh, euro it's going to still be 650 so just give me half an hour at the end of this webinar to go in and change the price and then you can you can pay straight away so you need to pay yeah, for the course price, on the main this will this price as you said will be available until at least middle of march but uh, jane i send you all the details okay hmm. and then rita we will continue doing the omni software training um uh, yeah not today not today but yeah no no not today but on a wednesday daisy it's 12 yes. o'clock midday for her and it's 7 p.m for us central eastern time and south african time so the timing will stay the same and then we will not now not not tonight but um we will continue with the omnis panel training which we've been doing up until now anyway yes. which is all by the way on the jane mckenzie youtube channel so the Omnis training, software training that we've already done is there. It's all logged there. So you can go and upgrade your your um, your quantum skills and your um, the panels there. And this is where you hear from the source, Desi, as she wanted these panels to um, you know to be played out, as she wants us to use them, and the meaning behind what's in the panel. So I do urge you to go and have a look at that. That's the Jane McKenzie YouTube channel. Yeah, and if uh, um, anybody would love any session or any private consultation with me and Desi, you can contact me through Jane or even uh, I can give my email address. I will put it down right here. And for today, I shared you great uh, videos to, to show and then you can talk because I am really, really tired and I am actually in a process of moving all my stuff. So if there are no questions for me or nothing left for me today, then I will sign off very soon and leave it up to Jane for today. Right, that's no problem. I've actually posted um, in the chat earlier on, you guys just need to scroll down to the earlier parts of the chat. I've actually loaded um, the two links that you sent us, Rita. Yes. So the one is the, the formidable Desi and the other one I believe is you are what you eat. Yes. Yeah, thank you for that. So um, everybody listening in obviously has those links as well. And um, well, it's seven twenty-six. I think that um, you know we can we can you you can go now, Rita, if you want to. If you want to go and finish what you're doing, and Rita, okay. I just want to also say I just want to say something before you go. Is a huge, huge, you know, congratulations okay. to you through this whole ordeal. I think that you've you know you've been strong. You've held your ground. You've, you've been steadfast in where you're going and supported Daisy, supported all of us as well. And, you know, just know that we're all there for you too. And you can reach out Thank anytime. You. And, Thank you, very um, much. you know, good luck packing everything. It's a whole new chapter for you. We're really wishing you also, you know, the freedom and the joy and the, the manifestation and and abundance and i think the ability also for you and daisy to be authentic you know i think uh, that's yeah, going to uh, all i want to say here i would like to say here that for the last 10 years we could not really have a real life because there was always some yeah. threat of uh, fear danger of things and her mm. her belief about what could happen or what, or what would have happened if she go, went back earlier or now and uh, uh, we had just too much stress and i think that now yeah. we will have an uh, ability and and an option for a real real uh, life wow. that we reflect so. our, our relationship also from a different side and also it will uh, do very very much good for the business and all of us in this industry exactly so so congratulations go well make sure you rest well drink good you know hydrate yourself eat nicely nourish yourself because each day you know you're going to need strength yeah and, um, <laughs> each, day is a, anyway. each day is a survival battle now all with these bags and boxes and <laughs> shelves and Desi gives me every day like a never-ending to-do list so it is <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway there's such beautiful light at the end of the tunnel and just you know that's going to keep you moving forward and um, 
What day are you thinking of leaving, um, Rita? Uh, now plan one is like I will uh, visit her next week, stay there a couple of weeks, help her to get her passport and get everything steady. Uh, my animals need to need to wait uh, with the babysitting until they get all their vaccines and uh, passport ready, and then we are still uh, still have to establish a long term place to stay at, and we need to focus on building up the business. And as Desi mentioned, Gage uh, would like to organize a nice event in Los Angeles, a seminar, a mm. learning seminar, and we would like to connect everybody from all parts of the world. Lovely. So we have we have multiple plans, and uh, we need to discuss everything how to put it into reality. Yes. Lovely, lovely. So, so um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, we are what we eat, and then I'm not going to show the, the videos today because everyone has them. And when I post this recording, I will post the links for people okay, to watch Okay, thank it. you very much. Uh, and I would like to say goodbye and thank you for being here today with you. Pleasure, Rita. Bye. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Right. Well, I, I think that's been, you know, really wonderful to to catch up and, um, you know, to be with Desi in a very free space. I think it's been a, a treasure for all of us and to have her live and to see her after these all these months, years of, you know, the black screen in front of us. So there's really going to be some fascinating things coming through and. Wow, she really does look peaceful and years younger and a lot of the worry and the stress is off her. So we do salute her and we do um, commend her for her, as she was saying to us all, her her purpose, her lot in life to go and, you know, um, raise the truth on behalf of all of us. So that's her, her. so we or she, we just need to support on that level, which is great. And uh, the videos regarding, you know, you are what you eat. And I think we all know that. Um, there's a little little bit of a different slant on this as well. And that's from an emotional point of view, what's eating you. So we can play with the words there a little bit. But often um, one forgets to consider uh, the emotional aspect and what's eating you. So we can give up and surrender those negative past um emotions and things that don't serve us anymore because in my practice anyway people can come in and line the desk with bottles of zinc and bottles of omegas and bottles of everything but we do need to get the emotions straight because if they're going to constantly gnaw at us and constantly eat away at our life force and our i mean our prana our chi our um I keep damaging the scalar wave, the quantum scalar wave that we we have and we possess, which we need to guard so closely, which the time crystal on a 24-7 basis gives us this um, this potentiated scalar wave. So in between the quantum sessions, um, you know, you wear this 24-7, you have it with you, protecting you in the scalar wave and, and giving you life force. And so we've got to discard the emotions that are not serving us. And then we need to nourish ourselves. And what we talk about at me, immune and my practice 365 healthy by choice and in, including that in my range of, of nutrient dense foods and herbs and minerals is to eat nature made foods, foods that nature made in the form that nature made, because why, why should we second guess nature? Why should we think we need to manipulate nature made food in a laboratory? So we don't need to do that because the minute you start doing that, you lose the life force, you lose the DNA, you lose the intelligence of the plant and it becomes physical. So everything we do is in a three dimensional quantum field. Even the devices that we have are working in a tri-vector, which is a three dimensional space, looking at emotions, neurological and spiritual and physical, in fact. So always, you are what you eat. Your vibration is going to be as high as your your um, emotional and your thoughts, etc., and also the vibration of the electrons that we're eating. So everything boils down to electrons. The electrons spin. The faster the spin of the electrons around the nucleus and the proton, um, 
the higher the life force. So you can at any any moment um, double check yourself, double check what you're eating and ask yourself, you know, is this actually raising my life force or is it a deterrent? Is it taking away my life force? And, um, you know, then you have your answer. So we need to focus on, on nature made foods and such as as my range, the 365 Healthy by Choice. Andras also has a beautiful range of um, nature knows products too that are all nature nature made and um, you know these are these are are just you know common sense things so I'm just going to leave you with that and hopefully the next plate of food that you prepare for yourself is filled with life force and fast electron spin foods nature made and whole foods all right we don't want to eat the processed um, foods or extractions and so on exactly as nature intended it so there we go and um more in the week more next week and look out for the the posts and everything the emails coming through and rita and i will um, prepare also you know upgrading your how to upgrade your software so that we are all sitting with the latest um version versions in front of us so that we can really maximize the um the, the um quantum sessions that we're running and um you know get the most out of the software all right if there are any more questions um chats for me to speak on let me know i'm just going to go up to the top again and there's jürgen and um everything will be everything will be posted so great to have you all here from the the the, the family, uh, the quantum medicine family, the immune family, and um, yes, looking forward to great things. Thanks for coming through. Bye.